welcome to qvalidation.com so in this video today we will be going to see how to handle an iframe using selenium i mean how to automate the iframe elements inside the html by using selenium so what is exactly an iframe it's a html element actually so as the description says uh, it's an inline frame is an html document embedded inside another html so it's basically an html inside another html okay so basically if you see any kind of advertisements or any kind of uh, login functionality so they will put it inside a iframe so let's say that uh, you have a html web page and uh, you want to embed another website into your website so you can put that inside an iframe so for that reason iframes are using and uh, now why we are going to see and what is it different than the others so i can put a uh, form and inside a form tag i can keep the same thing but uh, the way we are handling the iframe using selenium is quite different okay and that we are going to see today now how do i uh, identify if an element or uh, if any kind of html element is inside an iframe so as you can see the uh, tag for the html tag for the iframe is iframe so it will start with an iframe tag and it will end End with a iframe and inside that you will have your own own content okay so for that uh, we will see how we can handle or how we can automate the elements inside the iframe by using selenium okay so let's get started so now I'll give you one example how an iframe looks like so as you can see in this uh, so these are basically the dummy can controls that uh, uh, is meant uh, to practice the selenium automation okay so as you can see here uh, this pavilion okay so it's a link blogger is a link and this is basically a text and then something we have inside now how do we know that this category one and this particular text and category two is inside an iframe so let's see the basic uh, html element how it looks like so let's say that uh, i am putting inside this my right click i am putting a context menu so if you see there is nothing difference as you see here okay uh, but when I go inside this, you will see some more options were added. That is, uh, you can see the view frame source and reload frame. So when you see any kind of right click context menu, these two options, you will understand that uh, that particular element is an iframe. Okay. So basically you need to look for view frame source or reload frame okay so these are uh, this is one of the way you can identify the iframe or else what you can do directly you can go to inspect and you, here you can see this particular elements or these elements are inside an iframe see if i click here it is highlighting that okay now how does it look like so it is so as i told initially it's a content actually or it's a container where it is containing certain html elements so now in this particular example we have set in width height okay and there is as usual some identifiers like you have your id you have something called name and I'm not embedding any other website into this. Okay. So that's why it is blank. And inside that, as I told, certain HTML elements are there inside this particular element. Okay. So now this is the basic thing where you can identify that if it is an iframe or not. Now let's uh, implement the Selenium automation by uh, with the iframe element. Okay. So for that, I am flipping to Eclipse. So here what I am going to do, I'll create one new Maven project. Okay. So let's go to other and here I'm giving a Maven project. Okay. And then I'm going to next. Okay. And then I'm keeping everything default and then next and here is some artifact. So let's say that selenium test. Okay. Something I'm giving a name there. Okay and then okay new project got created so let me let it get refresh and then 
okay so now here you can see a small m that means that it's a maven project okay now pom.xml i need to now put some dependencies on that pom so that is nothing but my selenium web driver into that so let me open with a text editor okay so this is how the pom looks like and uh, i don't need this particular dependency that is junit so let me delete this and uh, i will add the dependencies for selenium web driver so let me just get that dependencies to here okay so i am using 3.11 so when i am making this video the latest version of the selenium is 3.11.0 so you can find out what is the latest version just to change this version and keep the everything else default so once you save this here you can see it is importing certain packages and those packages will be under here so you need not to download the jar files and then uh, do a link to your project directly you can do that and we are going to write the program under the source test in java and i don't need this default so let me just delete this i don't need this one okay now uh, i'm creating a new uh, let's say okay package is already there so let me just create a class here and i'm going to name it as I frames and I'm going for public static void main I don't want any kind of uh, test ng or anything to implement here because uh, we are going to see only the iframe okay how does it look like okay so for that uh, now I have the selenium web driver jar files are ready with me so let me create one driver variable here okay so here let me make it as static okay and then let me import the packages that is under my open qa selenium okay and then i'm going to uh, launch this particular url under my chrome browser so let me just put the chrome driver.exe path set for this okay okay so system dot set property and then web driver dot chrome because i'm going to launch this under chrome driver chrome browser okay and here let me give the my chrome driver exe path so i have already downloaded the chrome driver and i have kept under my c there is a folder called as grid and then under that chrome driver so please install the uh, please download the latest version of the chrome driver because i'm using the selenium web driver latest version so as per that you can go to the chrome driver uh, release for uh, url i will give that link into the description below so that you can refer later okay so that is done now driver equal to new fire for new sorry new chrome driver okay because I'm going to launch this under Chrome driver. So Chrome driver. So now I will just maximize this driver dot man is dot window dot maximize the browser. Okay. So my basic setup is ready now the next thing i need to launch the url so let me copy paste that url i have here so i'm just copy pasting this url uh, keep another one okay so now the uh, driver is ready okay so now let's see uh, as i told before that there is a specialization case where uh, you have to handle differently using selenium so now let's do make it a special let's try it in a simplest way okay and i want to get the text this text okay by using selenium okay so now let's think of that i don't know if it is inside a iframe okay so i will take it as a normal element only now let's inspect this okay so now what it says it is under p tag okay p tag and the id is frame text so what i am going to do 
driver dot find element by id okay and here what is the id this is my id dot get text okay dot get text so i'm going to give that so now what i will do here uh, give some name here frame text and i am assigning that under this and then what i am going to do i am going to put it inside uh, i am going to display that okay fine that's all okay and then what i will do just for your reference let me just make a wait so that we can see that okay make it as three seconds okay three thousand millisecond i think i'm going to import something okay those declaration just okay so now no errors so now let's run this script okay so i'm treating the frame text or the uh, paragraph tag is a normal element only so now let's run this so it will open the browser okay maximizes the browser it will load the url and then it will try to get that text okay and it didn't close my driver so let's see okay so there is some error now i got it okay let's maximize this okay so now here you can see i got an error under exactly on that while finding out the text so what it says no such element found but as you can see in this i am able to find the element here with a p tag with a frame text as a id but the selenium not able to identify that element why because it is inside a frame okay you can see here reload frame or frame source but i can access these things normally okay by using driver dot find element now selenium provides a way to identify the elements that are inside an iframe so what you can do you can type driver dot switch to so you have to switch to the frame okay that particular frame now what is that frame here so here you can see it is a overloaded methods so the frame is a overloaded method now why it is overloaded so it can accept an integer integer means some integer value that is nothing but your index if you have more than one iframe then you can just identify by using the index uh, like 0 1 2 like that you can give string uh, so it can accept a string as well now what is that a string means you can give the name of that uh, iframe or else you can even identify that particular element by using any of the element locators okay so now what we are going to do so now there are three ways right we can identify the element so let's first try with the name okay so now what i'm going to do here inside this okay now so i'm now inside the iframe okay so what i have done so i'm going to i'm switching to the frame and then i'm trying to identify this element okay so now let's close this and i'll put i'll put some more weight here and i will close the driver so that every time my test will execute it should nullify the driver instance okay fine so now let me run the same so what i have done from the past test execution to this one i have added this line so now let's see uh, if we are getting the same error or not so let's run it So it is launching the URL and then okay so I think it got executed so let's see the output so here you can see now I am not getting any error directly I am getting the paragraph uh, text whatever it is there under that tag okay so now this is the way we can switch to a frame and we can execute that okay so if you want to identify any one of this so if you want to click on this link so you have to go to this frame by using driver dot switch to frame and you can use either id or else name or else index also see here in this example we have two uh, iframes okay so this is also an iframe so let's see if it is an iframe or not yes 
okay so here i can use zero index so driver dot switch to frame of zero to get inside this frame one i can get inside this frame okay so now let's say that uh, once i have done this one now let me click on any one of these uh, link okay so now let's see this one okay so now here there is a blogger text is there so let me just click on this and so once i have uh, done my testing on the elements inside the iframe i am going to test some other test right so what i will do driver dot find element by dot uh, what was that link text right so link text and i'm going to just click on that okay and let's see if it is happy if it is executing or not okay so what i've done i have just uh, done all the test inside the iframe and then i'm going to continue my test which is out of my iframe okay so let's run that test and see if it is executing successfully or not okay so let's see uh, so it didn't click as you can see the web page stayed here only it should have clicked the blogger either it would have been opened that uh, link into this browser or it would have been opened into a new tab but it didn't happen let's see the error so here some error i'm getting and exactly it should be on the same line uh, same content only so it's saying no such element now this is a reverse case because see where we were not switching to the frame the elements were showing no such element now i have switched to the element frame and i have done everything and then i'm coming back now still i'm getting that error because the driver is or the control is still inside the iframe only i need to get out of that iframe okay so that i can treat the other elements in a normal way okay so for that there is again another method provided by selenium that is nothing but my default content okay so it means that once you are done your test inside the iframe you have to come out to the default content default content is nothing but the normal html elements only then you can continue your test so whenever you are going inside a frame just use this and as soon as you are done with the test you have to write this particular statement now let's execute this okay see now it it now clicked on that particular uh, link because we were we were coming out of that uh, iframe so a basic uh, thing these are the basic thing you need to follow while automating the iframe elements so now to summarize that you uh, if any element that is inside an iframe tag you have to use this statement driver dot switch to frame and there are three different ways you can identify the a frame either by using their index the iframe index on that web page or else by using their id or else by using the name of that frame and then you do the test on that elements uh, the elements inside the iframe and then you have to go for driver dot switch to default content to regularly test your the normal web elements okay so that's all about the iframe okay thanks for watching